Hi Libra, welcome to your July 2021 tarot reading. For those of you who are new to this channel, hi, I'm Madison Intuitive Tarot. I'm super grateful that you're here. Please keep an open mind that these are general readings and they may not resonate with all of you out there. And if it does, it would be such an honor for you to rock that like and subscribe button for you, girl. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Also, every Thursday night, I go live and I do an all signs reading and we have such a blast during that live chat. So if you wanna be a part of that, underneath this video is a notification bell. If you select all notifications, YouTube will then notify you the moment I upload a new reading and go live. All right, so this is the July monthly, which means I'm going to just see what the cards say and see if it's going to be about money, career, love, or all three. Okay, just pull in your general energy for July. What do we have for Libra, please, for July 2021? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for the lovely Libras. Your challenge for the entire month of July, what is it? The Two of Cups. All right, you could be dealing with a past life soulmate with the Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But with the Two of Cups being in your challenge position, you may be feeling like you're disconnected from somebody. Okay, someone may not be feeling the connection as strong as they once had, whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. But at one point in time, you guys were like this. All right, possibly you started off as best friends maybe, or there was just an instant bond. We'll see what's going on here. And remember, we have hundreds of thousands of soulmates. They can be our business partners, they could be our best friends, friends, our siblings, our mentors, things like that. So this could also be a business partnership where things are just not aligned as they once were and you guys are not on the same page. We'll see what's going on. The Eight of Wands, the Queen of Swords, that's you, and the Six of Pentacles. And you see how the Queen of Swords is looking right at the Six of Pentacles? Some of you guys may be feeling like someone's being very one-sided and not giving you the energy that you deserve and you're deciding to maybe pull away your energy and disconnect from this connection. And there might be someone else that you're talking to with the Eight of Wands. Or there's communication picking back up after you had to pull away. You could be at a distance from someone right now, but even though there's no time and spirit, time is fluid, I can read the energy off of the cards. And to me, Wands represents day fast moving energy so within the next eight days you could get communication from someone okay and it's really positive energy with that could be a fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries the world wow Aquarius got this card in the exact same position okay so you may be dealing with an Aquarian this is also Aquarius energy and the Queen of Swords is too but also Leo Scorpio and Taurus the Four of Swords, that's that's no communication, that's taking a break from someone and pulling away your energy, wanting reciprocity, okay? Three of Cups, there's going to be some sort of um, get together and Aquarius got this as their challenge too. So there may be um, someone that you're wanting to reconcile with but you're needing to just take a little break and pull away your energy right now and focus on yourself because you see how that heart is like next to this woman? Remember, there's no genders in my readings, this is for dudes and dudettes watching this, okay? You see how she's sleeping and her heart is right on the side I'm pulling in a Libra that said you know what I need to put this love connection on the side and just focus on me and do what I need for myself I need I need a rest from this connection because I feel like I have been taken advantage of and things have been one-sided and now I'm doing me focusing on my stability okay and there's someone that's going to be reaching out wanting to hang out maybe you have friends that are wanting to visit you and cheer you up during this time but we'll see that's when clarifying is going to help me let's continue the high priestess that's Neptune and Pisces but also Cancerian energy you might have a spiritual bond with someone okay and with that two of cups being there you may have felt like this person felt comfortable to you at the first time you met them okay so maybe if you guys are in separation you're still feeling their energy around you where you'll think about them from for a random second and all of a sudden they text you or you could be like you know doing the dishes one day and then a thought of them will pop into your head even though you were trying not to think about them and it's because they were thinking about you at that exact same moment okay the ten of wands releasing burdens no longer uh dealing with the stress no longer dealing with the anxiety just moving forward some of you guys are actually picking up and moving in the month of july maybe to a new apartment to a new house or just visiting some family for a little while visiting some friends to uh lift up your spirits 
okay and the Queen of Cups heavy cancer and energy coming in here okay you might have that in your chart you could be a Libra Sun cancer moon or a cancer Sun Libra moon things like that and it's right underneath the three of cups which is cancer and energy so you could be getting communication on July 3rd or July 4th or you're dealing with a Cancerian born on July 3rd, July 4th, July uh, 2nd, July 6th, okay? And what you don't see heading your way at the bottom of the deck? The Five of Swords. That's the energy I was getting, okay? The Five of Swords is that energy of miscommunication, conflict with communication. Maybe someone's playing the silent treatment game. Maybe someone's always trying to get the last word. Maybe the last time you got a message from this person, Libra, it left you scratching your head going, what the hell? How am I supposed to read that? What were they trying to say? Are they trying to be vague here? Are they trying to get me to read between the lines? What's going on here? Or you sent out a message to this person that got them scratching their head going, what did Libra mean by that? Is Libra done with me? Is Libra just giving up? How am I supposed to take this? What's going on? And someone's got some sort of wall up with the nine of wands. Still wanting to believe in something, still wanting to fight the good fight, but feeling like they've been through some bullshit and needing to put a bullshit wall up okay yeah you're rejecting something right now with the four of cups and it's more cancerian energy okay you may be feeling bored you may be feeling like the connection that you have with this person is leaving you feeling um bored and feeling like they're not giving you um the attention that would like make you feel excited you're like really this is all that they can give me okay because when I look at the Six of Pentacles, I feel like right before the Six of Pentacles, there could have been a ghosting. There could have been an energy of being, you being left out in the cold or you needing to leave them out in the cold because you just felt like everything was becoming very dull. Okay, because look at this woman. This is the Four of Cups. It's like she's sitting there going, Yawn, I was hoping to go on a date this week, but I guess not. My person's not talking to me. Or is there anything else going on? Because I don't like the options that I'm being given. There's got to be something better out there for me right now. Okay? Or some of you guys just don't want to deal with anybody. Okay? And you're feeling disconnected from a lot of people. But in mid-July, you may get some sort of surge of energy that's going to make you want to go out and mingle a little bit. Okay? So I'm going to start clarifying. I'm going to start clarifying. For zodiac signs, even though it's all about the energy, not the zodiac sign, I've got um, heavy cancer coming through. I have Pisces, I have Gemini, I have um, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and Aquarius. Okay, so why is the Two of Cups in the challenge position, please? Why is the Two of Cups in the challenge position? Why is the Two of Cups in the challenge position? Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay, and the moon. Now, when you have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you have someone that's not putting in any effort for any commitment, any stability. It's, you might feel like this person's being rather lazy with how they treat the, the connection, okay? Like, they're not putting in any effort. They're not setting up dates. They're not calling. They're not, you know, opening up their feelings. They're just being, like, completely, sh like, stand still like a rock. Okay, because the Queen of Pentacles in the upright is very nurturing and uh, puts in a dedicated effort because she likes stability, she, she welcomes commitments, things like that. It's a hard worker, it's a business woman, okay, and a mother. In reverse, it's someone that's not even bothering but wants to see the result without putting in the work. Okay, so you may be feeling like you have to break up with somebody or just pull away your energy and say, you know what, I'm gonna focus on my money, all right? Something with your money may be improving. Something with your money may be improving because I also see the Six of Pentacles as a benefactor. So you may be exchanging coins with an employer or you're starting your own business and you're gaining a lot of revenue from a lot of patrons or you're getting a loan from a bank to start a new business or buy a new home because I did pick up on the energy of you may be um, relocating. So maybe you're exchanging a deposit and first month rent or you know buying a home, okay? or like a little vacation spot to just get away. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here in the first half of July? Why is the Eight of Wands here in the first half of July, please? I love you, Libra. The Five of Cups wanted to come out and I also have the Emperor, okay? The Five of Cups is telling me that someone's feeling regret, someone's feeling remorse, someone's feeling sad, someone's, um, just processing their emotions and there's an energy of this person reaching out or you're gonna be feeling kind of sad and like 
um, tired emotionally and then all of a sudden this person reaches out and you don't know how to uh, react to this message okay why is the queen of swords here this is you being very discerning um, being authentic wanting to speak your truth and I have the hanged man and I have the hermit for the the energy that came out and I have the six of wands on the bottom so the hanged man with the queen of swords tells me that you're staying stagnant right now while you try to figure things out in different perspectives okay it's like the energy of letting time stand still for a little bit while you try to think out a solution here okay and with the hermit being there you're definitely being recluse you're definitely being recluse you can almost see this woman on the top of a mountain where no one can reach her guy or girl and just wanting to do a lot of introspection while also being mind over heart because you may have been hurt in the past you may be a recent divorcee or you just been burned too many times that you don't want to put up with that bullshit anymore so you're just laying low and, and trying to figure things out because you don't deserve someone that's very in and out or very um uh one-sided Okay, remember roles can be reversed. Someone could be feeling like you pull, you were the one that was one-sided and they had to pull away, okay? So why is that Six of Pentacles here? And I do have the Six of Wands on the bottom, repeating sis, uh, repeating sixes. Why is that Six of Pentacles here? Please rock that like and subscribe button, Libra. I love you. Love and love and make a wish. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, that, that's that offer coming in, something that you may have had to wait for a while. Okay, and it's clarifying the Six of Pentacles. Okay, someone is finally either coming to you with some sort of commitment after approaching it very cautiously now that they realize that they could possibly lose you or there is like um, a long overdue promotion or um, you're getting some sort of um, opportunity that needed time. Maybe you're inheriting money from a passed over loved one, my condolences, and you're getting like... Um, you're getting money from the attorney through probate, okay? Something like that, maybe. Someone's getting something. And why is that world here? And I was getting like a similar energy off of Aquarius and this world card was in that same spot for Aquarius. Okay, so you might have that in your birth chart. You might have a moon in Aquarius, um, a Venus in Aquarius, or a rising, okay? Why is that world card here? The Five of Swords, look at that. And the Five of Swords is right there and I have the Knight of Swords. You're like cutting out the crap. You're like, you know what? I don't want to tolerate this anymore. I need to do what's best for me. I don't want to re revisit this. I want that cycle closed. I want a new opportunity. I just can't, I can't with the miscommunication. I can't with the, you know, the in and out stuff. I don't, with the, the, the silent treatment. You assign whoever you feel like is the cat and who is the bird, okay Libra? Which, are, which one are you in this equation? Are you the fed up cat that needs to stand up for themselves and lay out some healthy boundaries because someone's been pulling away and you know going quiet on and off? Or are you the bird that's not even expecting that this person is like feeling frustrated with the connection? Okay, someone here is like making a decision to cut out the crap and end that chapter to have a new beginning okay whether it's a new beginning where you guys wipe the slate clean and have a fresh new start after communicating clearly with one another or are you just going you know what no i have better and then you going no contact because the the four of swords is right next to that world which is all about going no contact pulling away and just focusing on you and detaching from anything that brings out a lot of emotions okay doing stuff that does not involve emotions so why is the four of swords here why is the Four of Swords here? Whoa, really? I can't take that many cards. Um, the Nine of Wands is here, that's having a guard up. The Knight of Wands is someone being very in and out, and maybe there was other people around with the Five of Wands creating some drama, competition, jealousy. Um, King of Wands, Ace of Wands, wanting a passionate new beginning, wanting to take action towards a new beginning, okay, but still dealing with this person, okay? But I'm not gonna take that many cards. And then the Six of Wands landed in reverse, which tells me that you feel like there's no more success involved here, okay? And that you're not gonna win after all this because this person's not working with you. So let's see, why is the Four of Swords here? Please don't give me eight cards. Just give me one or two. Why is the Four of Swords here in the beating heart of the spread? Oh, I just realized that. The Four of Swords is in the beating heart of the spread and we have a, a heart right there. Anywho, just little things I noticed. Why is that Four of Swords here? 
which is your energy. The star and the wheel of fortune. Wow, beautiful. You're healing. And it's during this healing phase that you're going to get something that's going to turn in your favor, Libra. Because the wheel of fortune is all about things working out for you. The wheel of karma. Universal law. What goes around comes around. You always walk away feeling either emotionally fortunate, financially fortunate, spiritually fortunate or all of the above when you have the wheel of fortune something is going to be paying off for you okay and it's during this time that you you've been laying low and just healing whether you're doing this in the first half of july mid half or towards the end or this is an energy carrying over from june okay i love that so why is the three of cups here there's something you're going to be celebrating whether it's a reconciliation with this person after taking a little bit of a break Maybe this person starts leveling up and starts putting in work or you're celebrating some sort of other achievement, whether it's a promotion, um, an accepted offer in a house, um, or you're just hanging out with your friends for a little bit. Why is that very cups here? Cancer energy. You guys are not going to believe what just happened. Okay. I got the queen of cups. When I clarified the chariot in Aquarius's reading, the queen of cups came out with it as well. Okay. So that's just a little side note. Some of you guys could be definitely dealing with a, a Cancerian or an Aquarius, or you're going to get another message in that Aquarius reading. Okay. Now there's an energy of you celebrating something and it's going to make you feel so good with the queen of cups because the queen of cups feels good. She feels loved. She gives love. She feels nurtured. She nurtures. Okay. And you're going to be around some good people that are going to care about you. Okay. So why is the high priestess here? And I do have the Queen of Cups right underneath that. Why is the High Priestess here? Sorry about the lawnmower guy. He got word that I was recording. Just kidding, he's a cool dude. I like my neighbors. Why is the High Priestess here? Because of the, the, um, the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords and the Lovers and the, and the Empress. I was like speechless when I looked at that because at first I thought it said um, the High Priestess because in this deck, the Hierophant is actually called the Priest, which is the male version of the High Priestess. Okay, so I'm clarifying the, the uh, High Priestess and I got the Hierophant. This is telling me that whoever you are dealing with, you guys have a very spiritual connection. Very, very spiritual connection. And if I don't get the King of Cups, um, if I get the King of Cups, that's a double confirmation that you are in a spiritual connection with somebody, whether that's just learning a va valuable lesson about yourself and what you will accept, what you won't accept, um, what boundaries to put up, what boundaries to just let go, or this person is, is supposed to be in your life for a big, big reason. Okay, and I do have the Queen of Swords here, which is your energy that we were pulling in in the first half of July, where you're going to make a discerning decision if you want to continue to nurture this with the Empress, which is your energy as well. It's Taurus energy, but also Venus and Libra. Okay, and there's some sort of reconciliation with that Temperance card where there's going to be a healthy compromise, and you see that rainbow after the storm. Okay, because you guys are going to talk with the Ace of Swords. And I have the King of Wands, the Three of Wands, the Strength, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you guys may have a fire sign that you're dealing with, uh, specifically a Leo or a Sag. But I do see uh, communication coming in that's going to be truthful. Okay, and uh, you're going to have a decision to make whether or not you will invest in this or just say thank you for the closure. I'm glad you acknowledged that you were not treating me right, but I'm just going to move on in my own. And you've got some exciting stuff happening for you with your money, okay, or your home situation. So why is that Ten of Wands here? Why is that Ten of Wands here? Some of you guys could be going back to school. Wow, the Two of Cups and the Ten of Cups. You're releasing burdens, okay? in regards to a soulmate. And this could mean you guys are gonna reconcile and have a long-term relationship. Or, you know, you're gonna let it go. Let go of a strong bond. It's gonna be up to you. It's gonna be up to you. Why is that Queen of Cups here? Why is that Queen of Cups here? The Emperor. And now we have the Emperor and the Empress, okay? The Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries, but with the Queen of Cups being there as the clarifier, uh, there's mutual love here. 
someone may have been guarded and held it back, but there's mutual love. I feel like you were dealing with someone that was very anxious, very worrisome. Nine of Swords, maybe they were worrying about um, being in a relationship with you. Maybe they needed to release something first, or this was you, okay? But someone was deciding on walking away until this return. Okay, so I definitely feel like Libra, you were really contemplating ending the connection and just letting it go, okay? And keeping your emotions for this person tamed, okay? With the strength card. But someone's coming in and it's gonna be up to you what to do here. Why is that Five of Swords the overall energy? Or the energy that you don't see coming? Why is that Five of Swords here? The Fool and the Six of Cups. Someone's returning, wanting a fresh start, okay? And it's gonna be up to you, Libra. I'm strongly getting it being up to you. You got someone that's thinking about you a lot, missing you with the Six of Cups. Could be a Cancerian, but also Scorpio Pisces, or an Aquarius or an Aries, okay? Someone wants a new start, but they're confused. Someone is like, Libra doesn't want me. Libra pulled away, or Libra is not gonna want me. I've already, you know, hurt them enough. It's something like that, okay? So let me get some angel answers. But other than that, I see a lot of positive changes happening for your, your, your money or your home situation. And I do have on the bottom here, a year from now. So something may happen to you a year from now that's going to change your life. And right now it says not the right time. So maybe some of you guys are gonna let this person go and then a year from now, the person you are supposed to marry is coming in. Within a, new, and within a few weeks, I feel like you're gonna get communication from this person. Within eight to 21 days, okay? Eight to 21 days, I'm strongly getting it. Plus I have um, the eight over 21, all right? Because the world is 21, the eight is eight. So between eight and 21 days, or on August 21st, you'll know what to do here with this person, okay? Whoa! Get more information, okay? Be assertive. Okay, embody that King of Wands energy and take action with that King of Wands energy. All right, so you've got something heading your way and you're going to have to be assertive. Let me get one more card. Look at that. Success. And it also says listen to your intuition and I do have the High Priestess over here. All right, so Libra, that was your reading. I hope it helped. If it resonated, please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. Share it with your friends, comment below, all that fun stuff. And if you want to be a part of that live stream on Thursday nights, do rock that notification bell. Take care.